Bonjour YouTube, welcome to a Champions League qualifier. Qualifying first round is on today. As you can tell from the thumbnail, FK Sarajevo up against Celtic, Celtic the away side. It's the first leg and there's quite a lot of games on, like a lot of games. But we're mainly just going to focus on the Celtic game because it's really the only team that matters. I'm uh, just trying to see the Red Star Belgrade, another big name, FC Astana, AIK Athens lost 2-1 in their first leg. And the New Saints are 2-0 up the Welsh side after 80 minutes and they're at home for their first tie. But going into Celtic's game, up against FK Sarajevo, did not get off to the best of starts after half an hour. 1-0 down, Oremos, Oremos, scoring for Sarajevo, but the pitch wasn't the best, apparently it was waterlogged, or it was just not, it was just wasn't up to standard, as a lot of these games are with these other teams who have, it's not grass, it's like 3G pitches or 4G pitches, whatever you want to call it, artificial grass, so it's always going to be prone to f very easy getting like waterlogged, and you can so easily break your foot on them. But Celtic, after having gone one no down after half an hour, Johnston, I believe he's a new signing, scored after thirty on the thirty fifth minute to give Celtic uh well, put them back level, one one at half time, give them a very good chance to win it. Not the best start by Celtic, obviously going one no down. Especially against a team like FK Sarajevo. And it's not the best because you would expect Celtic to do a lot better than this but that's really it they didn't do they got much better into the second half so much better like progression better flow they could pass the ball more FK Sarajevo were not not nowhere near up to scratch like a lot of these teams are in the first qualifying round but despite, despite seeing that goal, Celtic did control the game, in, especially in the final third. The passes were so much better. And then ever since equalising, which they did in 35th minute through Mickey Johnson, I'm pretty sure he's a new signing. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he is. To level up at the break, 51st minute, six minutes into the second half. They get that second goal. Edward, two away goes, 2-1 up at this point. Probably should have scored more. Uh, at least leading up to their third goal, they should have scored more. I doubt this team produced any real threat. But then Scott Sinclair, 81st, 85th minute, produced a back heel finish to give Celtic a 3-1 lead in the first leg. Three away goals with the return tie next week on Wednesday at Celtic Park. I think they'll beat them quite easily. They'll come up against... Shekindija, Shekindija, they're a Macedonian team, if they win this tie they will come up against them in the second round of fixtures and I think they will beat them and they, well then again I say that, they, did, they didn't make it last year, they, I can't remember who they lost to but they didn't make it last year but you fully expect them to make it to the group stage and I think they will this year. Uh, I believe after this one, they'll have that second one against Shekinja. Shekinja. Butchered it, but anyway. Then they have a third round tie, which is where it gets very difficult. There's a lot of big teams involved at that point. Um, like, I'm not really too sure where, because England don't have it anymore. But usually that's where the fourth place finish in England will go. But that's how it ends. Celtic taken. Well, I won't really say comfortable, but relatively comfortable lead into the second leg on Wednesday at Celtic Park. But anyway, just to go into, I know I'm going to go into uh, Rangers, which is something I shouldn't do, but especially when I'm talking about Celtic, to then just straight up mention Rangers, but they were in a Europe, Euro, I was going to say European league. Europa League first round qualifier away to St. Joseph's in Gibraltar. Very, very easy 
game for them. 4 0 win, nil nil at half time. Just go Jack on the 50th minute, then Shai Ojo, Liverpool Loney on the 56th minute, Goodson on the 68th minute, and Mor Morales, Morelos, the player who is very good for him last year, but also was, was horrible against Celtic, always getting sent off, yellow cards, could never finish. And in the 77th minute, to add to the fourth, after being nil nil half time, to take a very uh, good lead into the second round qualif into the second leg to get into the second round qualifying of the Europa League. Uh, if they do win, they'll come up against either the Irish side who are on month tomorrow, I believe, Cork City who come up against Progress and neither corn. I really hope Cork City do it, and I think Cork City will unfortunately lose if they do win. But I've got full, I, yeah, Irish teams. I hope they make it from Dundalk, Cork City, I hope they do. But anyway, this video is now hit six minutes, so if you like, subscribe for more UEFA Champions League reviews else throughout this summer, cause, and Manchester United preseason for both the men. The women currently only have one game confirmed, but there is a game against Blackburn Rovers that has not been confirmed by Manchester United, but it's been confirmed by Blackburn. So I'm just gonna assume that that game is happening. England will also have a couple friendlies, England women, and I'll review them and potentially more futsal as well. So subscribe, leave a like on this video, and bye.